everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Thank you for stopping by Conversations with Leslie. Today, I really don't have a topic. <laughs> I just wanted to come on and say hello to everyone. And I wanted to just, just come on. I just left um, the voting poll. Um, me and my daughter, she went with me. She already had voted, but I had not. So, I told her, I said, when I get off work, I want to go to the gym, but then I'm going to go and vote because this is the last day. And I put it off for about all this time when I kept saying, oh, I'm going to do early so I wouldn't be in the crowds. But anyway, today I went and I voted. Yes, yes, yes. But this video is not going to be about voting. I just want to come on and say hello, everyone. Um, see what's going on see how everybody's doing i did if you're wondering about my hair i did a uh oh it's messy i've been on that win i did a actually i just twist it up and then i just took it out you know i i didn't want to put it in a ponytail today so i was like you know what we'll just wear it you know all nappy looking all that stuff anyway my ends are a little bit straight because i really didn't do much to them i just left them flat because i had it in like a braid but i did not plan on wearing it out so i didn't really focus on like curling my ends or anything so yeah so yeah anyway guys like i said i really don't have much to talk about i just want to come on and say hello to everyone see how everybody's doing possibly tomorrow or tonight we will know who our next president is yes so we all can't wait for that <laughs> so yeah i know it's crazy to get online and really don't have a topic huh do you ever do that no no one ever gets online and really don't have a topic i really don't have one i really didn't want to you know get on here and and talk about anything in particular or anything I just wanted to come on and just say hi to everybody and just check in do a almost midweek check-in but what I was gonna do is my goal what I had planned on doing was um, taping this while me and my daughter wait to vote but the only thing about it is I had to vote where I used to live and because I hadn't changed it and so it was nobody. It was like a walk up, go vote, and that's it. So I was going to just, I was going to do the video there, but I didn't get to do it because, and I was going to put my daughter on and all that. Um, she put something up on her Instagram of her and I there, did a little, you know, thing on her Instagram. But I was going to do this video there and just chit chat and talk about here. I'm waiting with my daughter, blah, blah, blah. But we walked right in. So. There was absolutely no um, waiting whatsoever. But I, now that I don't have a subject or anything to talk about, you know, I didn't come here saying, oh, I'm gonna talk about this. But I will tell you something, guys, that um, I've been thinking about, cause you know, my last video, I, not my last one, but I had talked about dating on one of my videos and about how hard dating is nowadays and you know so complicated and and all that and everything and that I had kind of just put it on hold because it's just too much you know just too much moving you know just too much I just didn't feel like it and and I kind of needed to get myself together from that last little issue but guys anyway um the reason why I bring that up is because um you know, I'm African American, so I just wanted to say to my African American sisters, don't limit yourself on a certain race. If you want to date outside your race, go ahead. Um, I myself have been, you know, thinking about that myself. You know, you don't don't limit yourself to only African American black men. Um, the last guy that I talked to that I dated, he was a Nigerian, so still in the African-American descent, but he was Nigerian. Um, you hear some people talk and anyway, I got into this to just ramble. That's all I'm fixing to do is just talk. But anyway, um, yeah, he was Nigerian and things didn't go well. It just didn't. Um, anyway, I went into all that on another video. Um, 
so just don't limit yourself girls i mean you know if you want to date a uh, chinese a uh, hispanic uh african uh whatever you want to date girl don't limit yourself to saying i'm only going to marry or date a certain race don't do that because you know what black men don't do that with us no they don't they date whatever wherever they hardly because that's what you will hear sometime when you see them with other races they'll say well i just fell in love with her i just it wasn't about race okay sis we need to stop that you know don't limit yourself i mean be open to it be open to love that's what i would say it's not really about a race it's just being open to be loved to give love and to find someone you know um i myself i um i have a certain races that i will and will not date you know just because that's my preference so i'm not going to even throw mine and put mine out there because this that's not what this is about this is just to say to african-american women you may have to go outside of your race to find love, sweetheart. You may have to find it somewhere else. And I, I piggybacked on this because me and my daughter was at the voting poll. And we were there getting ready to, to vote and everything. And she had two separate white men that were just and my daughter she had on a wig i had on my natural hair all oh, wow you know crazy and everything but she had a wig on and it was a natural nappy hair wig it was so cute though she said it was like 500 some dollars child but anyway she had on that wig and she you know she my daughter she got on these little short short shorts and little tank top and and all that and i mean the white guys were like oh my gosh your hair is just so beautiful your hair you know and we're out in a predominantly white area because that's where I, I lived before i moved here uh so these are white guys just all over her just telling her how beautiful her hair is and blah 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 you know i thought about that on my way coming home i didn't really mean to talk about that really in this video but I thought I would talk about it just to tell my sisters, don't limit yourself. Let's say, you know, you fall in love with a white man. You fall in love with a Chinese, a Hispanic, a Indian, a whatever. Be open to love, you know. And that's where I am in this season in my life right now. I know what I like, but I also want to be open to what God has for me. Because let's say he has a different race for me that maybe I don't quite one at eight or whatever i'm open for that so i would say ladies don't limit yourself you know well it's i'm really talking to african-american women because we are the ones that um a lot of times we stick so hard and close by our african-american men that don't mind going out and dating white women don't mind going out and dating chinese women don't mind going out and dating any race but us African-American women, you know, I have some family members that'll say, oh, no, I got to have a brother. It's, no, he got to be a brother. I would not date another race. I'm not like that because I feel like God may have my spouse in another race. Because it's not about race. We, the human race. And, you know, and some people say, oh, my goodness, no, we're not the human race. There's black, there's white. And that's true. But, I mean, we're people. Stop it. Let's, if you if you fall in love with somebody that is... Chinese I mean don't worry about him being Chinese girl just get you a, a man and if he's good to you if he loves you if he's God-fearing whatever you're looking for in a man you better stop limiting yourself to I have to have this race or this man got to be black and he got to be this that and the other because you got some other men out here child got a little swag yeah so but currently right now I'm gonna tell you that I have been into African men I went out on a date with one. Hmm, didn't quite what I was looking for, but and then the last guy I dated was a Nigerian. But the guy that I went out on the date, he was from Liberia, I think. I think that's where he was from, he told me. Yeah, but he had been here for a long time, so he was really Americanized and everything. But yeah, I have like some old friends that got married to some Nigerian men and it worked out. They love them. I know people say so-and-so will cheat. So everybody will cheat. Anybody will cheat. Stop that. Oh my gosh, we need to quit. We need to stop it. For men talking about all, oh, because that's what my ex was talking about. All oh, 
guy dated last was talking about all oh, Nigerian women cheat. Oh, please. People say all oh, Nigerian men cheat. People cheat, cheat. They cheat because they character bad. They're not cheating because of a race. So we need to stop all of that. Oh, so-and-so cheat. So-and-so. No, I don't believe in any of that crap. I believe that you cheat when you got bad character. It's in you. It is not in a race. I don't care what race you are. It's all about the person, the individual person. And when you, while you're dating, you get to see that person. So if he looks like or he acts like he's a cheater or she's cheating or whatever, it's in that individual. It is not a race. We need to cut this old put grouping people together and all mess. The people do that because they don't want to look at themselves. Because that's what I realized with the guy that I had dated was Nigerian. It wasn't about Nigerian women cheated. It was about him not dealing with his self and the thing, issues and things that he had to deal with. So it's easier to put it on somebody else than to deal with your own issues and deal with what you need to deal with. It's easy to say, oh, black men cheat. Child, please, all black men know just a faithful black men out here to their wives. It is. It's some faithful Chinese, Hispanic. It's some faithful men out there and it's some faithful women because women cheat too. So we need to stop that. And the thing about when it comes to women cheating is a lot of times men don't really, they don't suspect us cheating. So we, we can cheat a little easier and better than men because men we just know how to do things. If you So if you're a woman and you want to cheat, it's not hard to cheat. Men, they cheat. And a lot of times when men start cheating, everything about them change. That's how you know a man have cheated. A lot of times he come home from work, whether he got two jobs or what, he come home, he do the same old thing. When he starts switching up things, going to a different barber, doing this. I mean, we, we all know. That's all we got to do is watch y'all. But for us, we change so much. We change our hair. I might be, uh, like today I came on here, I'm all curly, you know, all this natural. Last time I was on here, I had my hair flat iron. So we change up things so much. It's hard for y'all to actually know if we're cheating because that child, she got blue hair tomorrow. She got green hair tomorrow. She got a wig on next week. You know, we change up so much to, it's hard to understand our patterns. But for men, it's real easy. All you got to do is watch your husband. You ain't got to say nothing. All you, and then you, your womanly, uh, your womanly, how come I can't say it? <laughs> intuition. Your womanly intuition will also show you and, and help you know that my husband is out doing something. Let me just start watching him. Let me just, and then sometime, child, just pray about it or, for me in this season in my life and where I am right now, I am not going to tolerate or fool with any kind of cheating. If you, I'm too old for that right now. I feel like I done lived, a, I done been out there, like I done done what I need to do. You done did what you need to do. We done did all kind of things out there in the world. We decided, you know, years ago to give our life to God and we wanted to be changed. Sometimes it took 10 years to change. Sometimes it took 20 years to change. You know, whatever. But anyway, um, it's like you should have done grown out of all that. I hate to see men that are like 50 years old and they acting like they 20. It's like, bro, didn't you get that, that what they call it, sowing your wild oaks? Didn't you do that back when you were 20? Why are you still doing that at 50? That is not cute. Okay? It ain't cute at all. It really isn't. But anyway, this is going to be one of them rambling going off the subject or I really didn't have a subject actually that's why I'm just this all over the place tonight because I really didn't have a subject I just thought I'd come on here and just do a little chit chat and say hello to everybody and um guys I just want to just say before I end this video because I'm just running my mouth I ain't talking about nothing this already 15 minutes so I'm gonna stop it right here um make sure you like you subscribe and comment. Um, Y'all know that that help on YouTube. It help our videos. You know, if you like it, if you like what I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up. Like the video. Share the video. If you don't want to share this one, share another one. Because really, I'm just chit chatting, chow. Didn't have a subject. Kind of tired. I really am. 
That's why I ain't even talking right tonight because I'm I'm tired. I really don't know why because I just worked. Uh, I norm well I've been going. Okay, guys, before I let this video go, I have been being faithful at the gym. I was gonna go to the gym after we left um, voting, but I was like, oh, I feel a little tired. Like now, I just yawn. Yeah, so I was going to go to the gym, but I didn't go tonight. So we're going to go tomorrow, um, make it up. I may, Well, actually, I went Sunday. So if I go Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I feel like, you know, if I miss a day through the week, that's not so bad. So I've been trying to stay faithful to this gym that I'm paying for because I'm working from home now and I really don't get up, move around. I mean, if I do, I move around my place. It's not. I feel like it's not a lot of moving around. So I feel like... You know, you need to go to the gym. You need to do a little working out. And I have been, I've been faithful to it. And I'm going to continue to be faithful. I really don't have like this. Well, I do have a goal. I actually, believe it or not, um, I have a goal to lose about, um, I think it's like 20 pounds. Yeah, and I know y'all probably say, you're not fat you don't need you know you get some people see the thing of it is is i may not be your weight you may not be my weight but i know what i want to lose i know where i want to be in my journey you know where you want to be in your journey your journey may be 10 pounds your journey may be five pounds your journey may be gaining 10 pounds but that's not mine that's not where i am i'm trying to lose by 20 to 25 pounds and the reason why is because that's where i was a long time ago this weight kind of got up on me and i mean i ain't this shirt is big actually i got this extra large shirt in the men's size because i wanted a big like sweatshirt to wear for the winter but yeah i'm like people would say i'm super tiny but i don't feel like i'm super tiny baby and i ain't giving out my weight neither i don't do that i give out my age but i'm not giving out my weight because that's none of your business see my hair is it has grown so much it's kind of like raggedy at the ends because like I said, I didn't put anything to make my ends be curly because I wasn't going to wear my hair down. I just, I, for some reason, I decided when, when I got ready to get dressed to go and vote, I was like, I think I'm going to wear my natural hair. Yeah, I'm going to, you know, pull it down because I actually had it up in two uh, twists. And then it was so funny because when I met up with my daughter, she had on her natural curly wig, just really cute. And um, yeah, so it went for the whole occasion. I liked it. And I'm, I'm vibing it right now. I'll probably wear it like this this weekend because I got a job to do this weekend. So yeah, and I noticed that I get a lot of compliments from white men over my hair. When I wear it curly like this, oh my gosh, they be all over it. Oh, your hair's so beautiful. Oh, ooh, your hair is pretty. And, you know, so that's, that's all good. Yeah, I'm tired. So I'm just all over the place. I'm just rambling and just all over. But, you know, that's what I told y'all this channel will mostly be about is me just getting on here just talking. And that's what I like to do. And like I said, I was going to do it at the voting uh, place, but we went right in. You know, there was no, it was walk right up, you know. So that was really nice. So I didn't get to do that. Guys, I'm not going to yawn on here. I'm going to take my butt to bed. I'm tired. Take me a shower and go to sleep. All that good stuff. Next time I come on, I'm going to have a, um, I'm going to have an actual topic. <laughs> Tonight, I really didn't have no topic. And, you know, I can't say go vote because it's too late. If you didn't vote tonight or today, you do a little bit too late. Um, yeah, I was going to actually leave early, but my daughter had found, I told her to find somewhere I thought that wouldn't be very busy in, uh, because I had an option to where I could vote either close by. And I actually voted like right down the street from where I used to live. And... I, uh, she found that for me and she's like, oh, you want me to go with you? Just in case I had to sit out and wait long hours at night. She wanted to be with me. So she went with me and we walked right up, straight up to the door and thing. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad I did 
what I did. I waited and I'm glad we chose that location because it was a perfect location. Alrighty, my loves, I am going to get off of here. I don't know what I'm going to title, title. I know I'm just talking crazy tonight, right? That's how you know when you're tired, your words just start mingling together. And you're like, oh, what am I saying? Honestly, I'm just tired. I woke up several times last night and uh, sometimes you get hot and you don't want to turn. Well, I tell you what, the, the weather has been up and down like a roller coaster. At night, it's like 40 something. In the daytime, today it had gotten up to 79 degrees. And then at night, it's like 40 something. So a lot of times I don't want to turn the air on because I'm like, it's too cold and then in the morning when I get up you know yeah excuse me that's terrible to keep yawning okay guys I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this video I don't even have my thing to stop it so I'm gonna have to reach up and turn off this video but I'm gonna do y'all see y'all look so tired I do tonight I'm I'm tired I'm gonna go to sleep I um my plans is to go and take me a nice little shower I'm going to shower and then um, what I've been doing is I'm going to confess is I've been on them during TikTok videos. Child, I watch them TikTok videos. That's my problem. That's that's what I ought to name this video. TikTok. Child, them TikTok videos will get you in trouble because before you know it, you don't watch two hours. Yeah. So I'm going to shower and then I'll probably watch me a couple of TikTok videos. <laughs> I don't have a one-up. I just watch other people. It'd be so funny. They'd be dancing. Some people be old. Some be young. Some be... I just enjoy watching them. Some are watching me a few TikTok videos. Um, I was listening to Jamal Bryant before when I was in my car. So I may finish up his sermon. on. I think his sermon was called Spoiled Milk. I was listening to that on my way coming home. So I might turn that on. And then I also, today, I listened to R.C. Blake. He put up another video on Soul Ties, baby. I listened to that today while I was working. In between working, well, you know, while I'm working on the computer and everything, I just listened to it, which I really didn't get to listen like I wanted to because when you're working, you can't. So tonight, I'm probably going to finish that out. I'm not going to do too much because, as you see, I just got a whole plan for the night. And I end up again tonight all, up all night long. So we just not going to do that. Whatever I don't get to do tonight, I'll finish tomorrow. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Cause you know, this is disrespectful. This ain't right to be on her doing all this yawn. And y'all like, oh my gosh, why is she doing all that yawn? And I know, right? Yawn. <laughs> I'm speaking right, talking crazy. <laughs> But anyway, thank you for watching my channel. I think y'all just, hopefully y'all just come on just to see what I'm doing. Just chit chat. I want to do like some of those vlog videos that I see some of the girls doing. But I think that I need to wait to do those because look at TikTok just coming across my phone now. It's saying, girl, where you at? No, <laughs> you cheating on me. You ain't, you supposed to be here tonight. But anyway, um, yeah, I want to start doing some of like the, uh, the vlogs and stuff. Um, a lot of things are going to change here in about a month or, well, we're going to say a month and a half because I got to get moved in. I got to get settled in. Um, and then you'll see a whole different scenery. Right now, there is, I took pictures off my wall. I don't have nothing. Hopefully, well, you can't hear echo because I got a lot of boxes in here. So, but I'm preparing to move. So, once I get in my new spot, um, yeah, I plan to do like some vlogging. And, and I say that because. Um, I got a lot of my equipment, tripods, just everything boxed up now. I'm just ready to go. You know what I mean? Nothing sitting here, but let's see if I can turn this camera. I got my computers for work. Ooh -ooh. I done got up too close. I'm trying to turn my two monitors for work and stuff. So I got all my stuff here for work, but everything is, as you can see, off the walls. Yeah, I'm not going to even show y'all them boxes over there because they are hot mess. Well, no, they're not hot mess because, you know, I got to have organization. It's just a lot of them. It's just, it's just, you don't need to see all that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to like. I want you to share. I want you to comment. I want you to 
make sure you subscribe. Don't watch my videos. If you like them, show me some love. And if you have some feedback, you're like, girl, you too close to that camera. I know right now I am, but girl, do this. Say that. I'm, I'm okay with the feedback. I'm good. And like I said, it's going to get a whole lot better. My topics, I've been writing down some topics that I want to talk about, you know, but I want to see what you guys want to talk about. I had one lady that she says she really enjoyed my videos on the dating in your, I believe it was the dating in your 40s, 50s, and 60s, because at that time I was like 49. So I titled it 40s, 50s, and 60s. Now I'm in my 50s. I'm 50. I'm not in my 50s. But I'm 50. So she says she enjoyed that and I like that. So then I made another little quick one talking about relationships. But I'm going to get real in depth on some things. Um, I just, you know, sometimes you want to like completely heal from situations before you go deep into subjects so that when you're talking about a subject, you're not like being angry about it or I. You know, because my last little deal was just, it was a hot mess. Yeah, this last little dating I did. I won't even say relationship. The dating I did with this Nigerian was, uh, it was a piece of work. I'm telling you, I went into a little bit on my video on the last one that I did about dating. But child, it, it just was a mess. So, I took some time off, sis. Because sometimes that's what you got to do. You know, you just got to take some time off. And honestly, I had said I was going to take a month off, but God was like, no, we're not. We're not doing no month. We we going to stop this. We we gonna, we ain't going to do this no more. This ain't going to be something we're going to be doing. We ain't going to repeat this. After you deal with this, we going to prepare for the husband. We's not going to be playing these games no more. Mm -hmm. So, honey, I heard the Holy Spirit and I said, yep, I'm not going to do this no more, Lord. I said, this just, this don't make no sense. So, yeah. I decided I, I'm going to still date, but I mean, just that whole relationship thing with the wrong person, getting into this, just, just mess, sis, mess, mess. So yes, one day I'm going to be candid. I'm going to get on here and I'm going to just give y'all some little information, some little tips, some little red flags to look for, some different things. That's why I said you can't put things on a certain race because anybody can be a fool. Anybody, you know? And anybody can do all kind of stuff. I don't don't I don't think it was no cheating. Um, it just he wasn't the right one, you know, or we just wasn't a match. I put it that way. I think it was more of us just not being a match for each other, um, for several reasons and a lot of good reasons. So I'm gonna get on here and I'm gonna share some of that stuff. Um one day. I'm I feel like I'm healed from it, but I feel like I felt like um, at the time that I was praying and fasting over the situation, I felt like God wanted to do some things further in that situation. And I just recently seen him on Sunday and I didn't feel any animosity. I wasn't mad or anything um, with him. You know, he said, oh, I forgive you. And I'm thinking to myself, what did I do to you? But I did some ugly stuff. So we ain't going to even drag like I was real nice because I acted ugly in the end. Because I was mad. So I thought I'd just be ugly to him. You know, that ain't tit for tat is messiness and silliness and and very childish. And I'm 50, so I don't have time for them kind of games. So if I'm going to do that with somebody... I'm not going to do that no more because that's too childish. I don't have time for games. I got too old for games. I played those kind of games when I was younger. I'm telling you, a man couldn't play better games than me. I'm telling you, mm -mm, no, bro. That's why, you know, all that little things that he was doing, I was thinking to myself, man, I could outdo you in any game you ever wanted to play. So if I'm saying men don't know us women, we can play some games if that's what you want to play, bro. You want to play some games? See, that's what I'm saying, but I'm not about that life no more when i was young because they say when you were a child you acted like a child i'm a 50 year old grown woman i don't have time to be acting like i'm 12 playing games with you getting on instagram and facebook telling the world or showing putting up pictures of different people to make you jealous that is stuff i don't have time for that and that was the kind of things i did with him so yeah y'all i got a whole 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 video gonna come out on that so 
reply and let me know if you want to know the juicy parts of my Nigerian relationship. How about that? I'll give you ladies some good pointers, things to look for, things, you know, yeah. So leave me a comment. Tell me if you want to know that juicy Nigerian business of mine. No. <laughs> Folks, I'm going to get off of here because I keep saying I'm going to quit. And it, I think that this video is like 30 minutes now. Ciao. 30 minutes. Then I got on here. It was one minute. And I said, that's all I'm going to talk about. <laughs> but anyway. That's why it's Conversations with Leslie. We just had a nice little conversation. I hope you guys have a wonderful night because it is now nighttime. Enjoy yourself. Relax. And let's get ready to see who our new president is. How about that? Alrighty. Bye, ladies and gentlemen.